Out of COVID-19 in South Carolina, the Palmetto State reporting more than 2,100 new cases today, marking the sixth straight day with more than 2,000 new daily cases. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster just wrapped up a COVID briefing, his first since the state's recent record-setting spike in cases. Savannah Levins reports. South Carolina has seen five straight days now of more than 2,000 cases a day. That's the highest streak since the pandemic started, and York County is a hot spot. It's a tale of two states. In North Carolina, the response to record-breaking COVID numbers has been to crack down, with Governor Roy Cooper issuing a curfew and modified stay-at-home order this week. I know he hasn't announced it yet, but it's coming. We're, we're going to lose indoor dining, and for me in my business, we're closed. But South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster is taking a different approach, even pointedly criticizing the Tar Heel state's response at Wednesday's briefing. Different states are doing things different ways. Uh, I believe that we are doing ours the best way. We are, we are not going to shut down South Carolina. Uh, we've seen other states do that. It ruined, it wrecked their economy. It wrecked a lot of businesses, it wrecked a lot of families. McMaster expressing concern about the rising case numbers, but still not implementing a lockdown or mask mandate. Closing down is not the answer, because when you close down a business, then you are potentially killing that business. That could mean more North Carolinians simply making the drive south to shop, eat and drink. New health department numbers show York County has the second highest number of new cases in the entire Palmetto State. And while North Carolina school districts like CMS are going back to all virtual, Governor McMaster is now urging South Carolina schools to reopen five days a week. But there's no reason for these schools not to be opening. Parents should not have to choose between their child or their job. Governor McMaster today also announcing they're expecting between 200 to 300,000 doses of the COVID vaccine to be delivered to South Carolina starting next week. Now their distribution plans also a bit different from North Carolina's. We've been covering this. All the information you need to know is on WCNC.com. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Savannah Levins. Guys, back to you.